all things praise the Lord most high. We want to welcome everyone to Destin Church of Christ this morning. We're glad you've taken some time to come join us today. Hopefully everybody saw the single serving communion cups out in the foyer and you had an opportunity to pick those up and bring those with you. If not, uh, you'll have a chance in a moment to go back and collect those. Um, hopefully uh, you also picked up a bulletin. There's a lot of good announcements in here. Um, as a reminder, we are having our Sunday school classes, so after our worship period this morning, we will be meeting back in the fellowship hall. We'll have a brief period for coffee and donuts, and afterwards we will have our Sunday school classes. Also, um, due to the recent spikes in COVID-19, we are trying to maintain social distancing in the auditorium, so please be mindful of the signs in the seats. Also, we still have the wristbands out in the foyer for those of you that would like to uh, wear a wristband and identify to others uh, your social distancing preferences. We do want to take advantage of that. Uh, now we'll have our morning scripture reading. I will be reading Romans 12 verse 1. I appeal to you therefore brothers by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Thank you. There are a lot of people on our prayer list this morning. I'd like to run through and update, update everybody on. Uh, sad news, uh, last night Patricia Beaver, Andrea Plunk's mother, passed away. We want to keep the Plunk's in our thoughts and prayers. Also, Paula Wilcox, we mentioned her last week. Her mother passed away last week as well. Um, Roy Smith, Jill Delaire's uncle, had quadruple bypass surgery on Tuesday. He's doing well, considering. Mitch Wilburn, friend of the Walkers, he's a preacher at the Park Church of Christ in Tulsa. He's off his vent, and he's improving, so praise God for Mitch. Judy Merrill's brother, Russell, is donating a kidney to his wife. So Judy's traveling to be with her family, so we want to keep the Merrills in our thoughts and prayers. Valeria's co-worker, Laura Boer, she'll be having surgery for a brain aneurysm. Jan Kootenay, he's not doing very well. Uh, the doctors stopped conventional treatments. He's not having any more chemo, and he's, he's in a lot of pain, so let's keep Jan in our prayers. Uh, Grant Walker's friend, uh, friend's mother, Julie Hanahan, has been diagnosed with brain cancer. I'm sorry, breast cancer. We want to keep her in our prayers. Tawana Matthews is recovering well, so praise God for that. Uh, Janet Walker's dad, Jim Rogers, he's moved back into assisted living. He's still very weak, so we want to continue to pray for his strength. And then Chip, uh, for those of you that are not aware, he's been diagnosed with COVID. 
he's home, he's isolating, he's doing, he's doing well considering, so Chip and Jilda are not here today. Uh, Bobby Grimes, uh, the gentleman who took care of our cabinets back in the kitchen, he's recovering from COVID right now, so we want to continue to pray for him as well. If you would, please bow with me as we pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank, thank you for this chance to gather together and, and praise you and lift you up and learn more about you, Father. Lord, we thank you for our church family and the avenue of prayer where we can reach out and talk to you and plead with you and thank you, Father. Right now, Lord, there are many people in our church, in our church family, and in our extended church family that need your healing hand. Father, we ask that you reach out and be with those families that were mentioned this morning and lift them up. Put your hands on them, Father, and heal them in a way that only that you can. Lord, there are so many families associated with our church that have benefited from your healing touch, Father, and we thank you for that, and we continue to praise your name, Father. Lord, be with our church and our church services today and help them to continue the way that pleases you, Father, and continues to further your kingdom. Lord, most of all, we want to thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, on the cross, and it's in his name that we pray, amen. Now, we like to have what I call one minute of sweet fellowship, and this is where we encourage everyone to stand up and greet your neighbors and say hello from a social distance and try to meet somebody new.